what is up guys we are over on world flipper to take a look at water skill damage finally i did the water direct attack build with mizuchi a little bit earlier and you guys liked that there was a lot of positive reception on that so i wanted to go ahead and cover the skill damage team we've got a lot of comments on that last video about people wanting to see skill damage water skill damage what it can do now how it's working all that good stuff so we're gonna dive into that i do want to just mention really quick i do have a giveaway going on i hit 1000 subscribers recently so thank you guys so much for all your support there is a giveaway going on first second and third are gonna have a choice of 50 dollars gift cards to google play or the apple app store the link will be down below for the giveaway in the description wish you guys luck thank you again so hopping on over to the team here there has been a lot of people that have had two scenarios going on from what i've noticed one they either have elia and they've been trying to put together water skill damage or two after new year's elia's banner came out that limited banner came and left they started playing the game so those people didn't even have a chance to summon for new year's elia so wanted to do a team with and without new year's elia and show you guys what they can do here on the screen, we've got obviously the New Year's Elia team going, and this team, as you can see right now, it's going to pop that nine chain because we did play with three players with Rikisha. Rikisha makes this team incredibly strong. And as you notice, we got the nine chain off, and the team is going around, and Ellie is about to be back up again. So we're going to get that chain break damage, and just right out the gate, we're hitting for seven million. That's a seven million skill damage shot because we have the Elia Ellie up going. And from what I've seen, there are people running the Elia and the Mordiaga build, and I've tried that build, but the Elia Elia build for me is a lot of fun because they complement each other. They go together, and Elia is pretty interesting, the regular Elia, not New Year's Elia. If you look at her ability 1 and 2, you've got a skill is activated, you're getting 5% attack for this unit, plus 10% to skill gauge and a maximum of 25%. That is not a light skill that is any skill is activated. So this is going to fill up the skill gauge and then you're gonna get skill damage by HP recovering, which the Caillou is providing on the team. And it is just this synergistic thing where the skills are going off and the skill gauge that Elia is providing. You see again there, we had an 11 million damage hit with the chain break damage. And it is just this way to constantly keep filling up your skill gauge with the Elia there and then the New Year's Elia has that same effect, and for the first three times, she's getting 10% to her own skill gauge as well, also getting attack, and then she's buffing the attack herself. She's going to be giving 40% attack to water units and 40% to skill damage, and this team just absolutely shreds, especially when you have Rikisha giving the buff and attack for water units. You have Cypher inflicting the slow and mire. This team just absolutely goes in and completely shreds whatever it is going against. And what I've noticed is that when this team does go up with another New Year's Elia team that is running Mordiaga and it goes in there, it actually outpaces the damage with the double Elias on the team, which is kind of funny, but it's just something I've noticed. It's a way to maximize your skill gauge. You're you having Shisuzu refill the skill gauge and you're activating skills on your team to refill even with El the two elias teamed up they are going to be buffing up their own skill gauges and you're getting attack buffs from the rikisha you're getting attack buffs from the caillou caillou is going to be giving the team that 20 percent attack and then when hp is recovered it's also going to get the extra attack and you're going to be buffing the attack of all allies this team does work fantastically with three Rikishas in the team hitting that nine chain having your skill go off right away but you don't really mind because of the way that the skill gauge recharge Shisuzu fills up the ulti with Rikisha going off and then you've got these skill gauges coming from the double Elias to fill up the skill gauge again lets you get your skill off and do these seven million hits on the first round and then even larger hits on the second round so it's just this continuous cycle and you have Cypher who is also going right away she is inflicting Mire. She is going to be giving you bonus damage on slowed enemies. And it just all pulls together. You can run it with the Mordiaga. He is providing power flip, but he's also giving skill gauge. So he's giving this skill gauge and power flip bonus here under the New Year's Elia. But the skill damage and skill gauge that's coming from regular Elia is led to a lot nicer results for me. And this run here, we are running with somebody else that is running the New Year's Elia and the Mordiaga build. And we have the Elia Elia build going on in this run right here. And we actually end up outpacing their damage and doing a little bit more. So 
it is a fun build if you can get three people to run a team like this it is just absolutely disgusting damage the clear times are so quick and it just makes for a very fun little water skill damage based team especially for going in with random teammates i didn't plan going in this was just a teams that i just queued up for went in was able to get those one minute and like 50 second one minute 30 second clear times with randoms with this team and it was very consistent it didn't struggle at all it just it was really nice now if you never pulled new year's ellie if you're going well i have rikisha now i went in i did multis i have rikisha i got mizuchi i have no new year's ellie this water team looks awesome but i can't build it there is another option you can do and it's something that i put together with sar if i fly on over here this team here is a way to run skill damage water without the New Year's Elia and take benefit of the Rikisha, take benefit of applying poison and using your skills right away. If you do manage to land the chain break damage with the SAR and the Elia column, you can hit pretty solid numbers. It's not gonna be these 11, 12 million, 15 million hits that you're seeing with New Year's Elia, but for a team that is running pretty much all four stars and one five star, you can still get up there in the hits and it's a way to apply poison you're getting the damage buff from mizuchi mizuchi's ability three when she's in that main slot you're going to be getting a hundred percent damage to poison buffed enemies and you have the sar and the mizuchi applying poison and then you're getting skill damage and that poison increase from sar himself sar is giving the 60 percent skill damage to water units and 15 percent damage against poison foes and then Elia is filling up the gauge more skill damage is being given to sar and it's going to benefit from that poison buff and popping your skill on the chain break leads to six million seven million hits with sar with no new year's ellie on the team it's fun seeing those numbers come up with just sar as the leader and that's pretty much it rikisha's there giving the bonuses you have the shisuzu also bumping up the leader kaiu's providing attack you're getting bonus damage against poison units it's a way to go in and just do some damage without new year's elia and you can switch out these souls that are under the mizuchi and rikisha you don't need those combo direct attack souls you can switch them out for the Okeanus Spears. You can switch them out for more Eltide Staff Spears, get your damage even higher. I just had them there from other teams, and I'm still hitting numbers like that. So this team works. It's a way to do water skill damage without that New Year's Elia. New Year's Elia is superiorly better, but you still can do some nice numbers even without her. So this is going to be it for my little look at water skill damage. You can run these teams both with and without New Year's Elia, and you can get some nice results. You can clear the Golem Godly faster and faster, get these runs done, farm up these weapons if you haven't yet. Or you can just go in and watch the clear times be faster than when we first started doing Godly Golem. And if you guys were here for that, you know how frustrating some of those runs were, where the times were just absolutely crazy long and it was just it was not a good time so thank you for stopping by smack that sub button if you're looking forward to more world flipper content to come giveaways going on jump down to the description hop on into that it's free just in time for sarah's banner for you guys it is going to be coming on the 31st giveaway ends on the 30th so just make sure you're part of that thank you again i'll be streaming this thursday check that out if you're able to make it i'll see you guys there and remember hit that thumbs up it will bring my rates up peace guys